Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this session, we're going to look at creating a sales funnel based on courses booked, pending or lost from our table. If I just show you or remind you what that is. So we've got a, a form here with customers, inquiry, pending, booked or lost. And then you've got the bookings there and then some marketing information. So now I just want to look at pending booked and lost and then i want to create a a graph to represent that as a report so if i close that down and just open the report so you can see what i mean so this is basically the end product so 66 percent of all inquiries have ended up with a booking which is good and there's a breakdown of pendings so there's 12 uh, inquiries Three are pending still, one has been lost and eight have been booked. Now that is coming or being driven by a query. The query is the sales funnel query, so I'll just run that. You can see the figures there and there's a formula working that out. Now if I go into design on that, you can see how I've done this. So it's just um, expressions that I've set there. So I've activated the totals feature. And then I've just done the expressions, expression. So I'll try and recreate that as best I can, as quick as I can. So new query, create query in design. And we're going to add each of these elements. So we need the status table. We also need the customers table. The links are already there, should be there. So we want pending we want booked and lost and then if I just have a quick look at the other one sales funnel what else do we want we want customers as well so customers now if I run that query it just gives us a, a breakdown like that these are all yes no true or false fields so the ticks would be minus one and the, the, the blanks would be zero. So what, I, what I'm going to do is if I just put the totals feature on and do sum. So that's what you would naturally think you can do. Sum. And then run it. I'll get these minus numbers. And some of customers has come up with 60. So I've changed it so I'm doing a, that just wants to be a count, not a sum. But these need to be all expressions. And they need to be put at the top. Now what I've done is I've used the ABS function, which will make a negative into a whole number. So basically sum ABS pending. That's what I need to do. And then I'll just put room total in front of that. So I'll go back into design. I'll put this to count. See if that makes a difference. Have a quick look. Yeah, 12. Then I can move that to the beginning. So that one's okay. So all of these need to be deleted and created as expressions. So the first one is just going to be equals sum open bracket pending square bracket close close the sum see what happens with that didn't like that so let's have a quick back look at the other one so sum abs so i need to change that to expression and i need to do the use the abs function so not group by express expression and when I run that, let's have a look. Still got minus three. So this is where the ABS will come in. Sum ABS. Let's have a quick look at that one. Sum ABS pending. And that's what I need to do for each one. So sum. And then I'm just going to zoom this up. So you can see. If I put ABS in there, it's just a, a whole number open bracket and then close the bracket at the end change the name so this is going to be pending 
total. So that's how it all works. Click OK. Run. Run it so now it's saying 3 instead of minus 3. And then I do the same for the others. So it's going to be lost. So the title is going to be lost total. Lost total. Colon. Now sum. Open bracket ABS. Open bracket. And then lost inside square brackets. Close the two brackets at the end. And change this to expression. Check it worked. One. That's correct, there was only one, and then the last one is going to be, just make a bit more space. This is going to be booked, total, colon, sum, open bracket, ABS, open brackets, and then booked in square brackets, closer to normal brackets, change this to expression. and run there you go so that's the query I'm not going to save that so I've already got it saved there close that one down don't save it close this down now to create the 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 report this one I'm going to create a blank one a blank report report design should I say go to the property sheet and select sales funnel that one and then I need to insert a chart and I want a bar chart and a stacked bar chart so you just draw the rectangle like so and then you get the the data um, from here so sales funnel and then you've got this little preview which isn't great but um, this is your company total field pending so that's what I want first followed by pending lost and booked now on this one, you've got chart title. You can change all of this, but I want to change the chart title. So type chart title. So this is going to be called sales funnel. Just click away from that. Now these, I want to change these. So back to this one. So if I go to each one of these, and I want, don't want to take that off, I want to change the format of that. So I'll go to the top and pending total. So there's the title. So it just wants to say pending to delete that. Make make a space select the next one down get rid of the sum of put a space in it select the next one down get rid of that make a space and then the last one get rid of the sum of make a space so you've got rid of you've renamed the labels so I think I'm happy with this, so I can get rid of, click on to the rest of this, put the fields back on because this percentage one is a field I want to be at the top. Just make a space for that. And these need to be a little bit bigger so I can change the font. So format, if I put the font size to 20 for both of these, you can see what this looks like. 20 and bold and bold and then go back to design have a quick look see what that looks like 
starting is truncated so you need to fix that but there you go you've got um, your your graph and if I just make that a little bit bigger now you've got this display label so if I am on the lost total so if I tick that it should put the data labels on there for you like so and then if I go back and have a look you've got your figures like this so this remember oops I still need to fix that this remember is picking up the data from your booking so as soon as your bookings change this will show you and that will change hopefully go up and not down but there you go that's the end of that little bit so we've created our little sales funnel so in the next session we'll be looking at creating an invoice and i may have to edit some of these fields as that is usually the case when you start creating things or you suddenly remember you want to do something you have to sort of go back to the basic tables and add or delete or change different things but that's the next session that's the end of this one so thank you for your time